Hi there, this is just a quick video showing some of Codify's key features. So this is the project selector screen. You can choose from any of the examples bundled with Codify or load a project you created yourself or make a new one. So some of the built-in examples include simple games such as Bit Invader here, uh, Dungeon Roller which uses the built-in sprite packs, a cloth simulator, ways of using the various built uh, APIs that Codify provides such as drawing shapes, using the accelerometer, handling touches, there's Lua Jump which is a doodle jump clone, using parameters in your games, Ping which is a Pong clone, Snake using signs, all sorts of really useful things. Let's just take a quick look at one or two of these. So this is Ping. We'll look at the code editor in a second, um, but let's just run this for now. Um, so this is the basic Pong. You probably know how it works. Any frame rate issues here, by the way, are just due to the way I'm recording this video. Uh, Codify itself is very smooth. This game has multi-touch, collisions, you name it. So that's Ping. And we'll take a quick look at one or two more. Here we've got Dungeon Roller. So you can use the accelerometer here to control a character, move them around and collect these gems. If we tap the screen, we can attack these evil bugs that are coming to try and attack us. You can see all sorts of graphical effects going on here. Tinting and translucency and you name it. So that's uh, Dungeon Roller. And finally let's take a look at Bit Invader. So you can see here in the code editor you can have a whole number of files making up your project. And the code editor itself has got pretty much everything you'd expect from a good code editor. You've got syntax highlighting, line numbers, tab completion of keywords. And there's a whole load of other things that have been added to Codify to make it really easy to use on a touch screen. For example, we've got a load of extra keys at the top of the keyboard here, such as tab, inserting symbols, uh, jumping to methods throughout our project. So for instance here we can jump to the draw method of an invader. And we jump straight into the invader file here. Um, there's other things such as a lot of methods in Codify take a colour as a parameter, for instance stroke here, uh, this is a colour. So what we can do is rather than typing in a colour we can simply tap the parameter and select the colour we want to use from a colour wheel. So we'll leave this at white as it was. You can also change any numerical parameter simply by tapping on it and then dragging up to increase or decrease the number. Set that back to 10. Um, and also when using sprites in the game we get a picker very similar to the colour picker. So for instance let's just type in sprite here. If we tap the parameter we can choose from all of these built in sprite packs. And they're really high quality sprites. So let's use a grass block here. And that just inserts that straight into the code. Uh, Codify comes with some built-in documentation which is really well done. It takes a second to load here, I think this is just to, due to my screen recorder but it's uh, normally nice and fast. So here we've got graphics, the Lua language itself, using sound effects, touch, parameters and the accelerometer. And So each of these details all the various functions available nicely categorized um, and <clears throat> complete with list of all the parameters you can use and some examples and it's all really nicely done let's just very quickly as well take a look at uh, parameters which uh, basically you can set parameters in your games 
you control a variable whilst the game is being run. So for example here we've got a parameter set up called background spawn rate. And so if we run bit invader here, you can see what a ship we can control. Move it left and right. And we've got a parameter up here in the top left called background spawn rate. And this gives us a nice slider. And if we slide it right down, you can see the background changes how it's displayed. You can start to put this back up, and then the background starts to come in. Loads of stars appearing. Um, and so you can set a whole load of parameters in your games, and it really helps you sort of tweak gameplay and the graphical styles whilst running the game without having to keep jumping back into code. Um, so that's basically all I wanted to show you for Codify. It's a fantastic app should be on the App Store, uh, I think it's planning to be launched on Wednesday the 26th of October um, and I encourage you to check it out. If you want more info on Codify you can check out the blog post I've put together a link to which I'll put in the description of this video um, and I'll also put in there a link to the creator of Codify Simeon Nazalowski of Two Lives Left. Thanks for watching.